John Robert Thompson, Jr. is an American former college basketball coach for the Georgetown Hoyers. He is now a professional radio and TV sports commentator. In 1984, he became the first African American head coach to win a major collegiate championship, capturing the NCAA Men's Division I basketball championship when Georgetown, led by Patrick Ewing, defeated the University of Houston 84 Euro 75. Early life Thompson was born and raised in Washington, D.C., and is a practicing Roman Catholic. As a child, his mother insisted on sending him to Catholic schools for the educational opportunities and academic challenges. At Archbishop Carroll High School, Thompson emerged as a standout center, playing in three consecutive city championship games. In 1959, Carroll all met Thompson, Monk Malloy, George Leftich and Tom Hoover won over Cardoso 79 a Euro 52. The next year, Thompson and Leftich led the Lions over the Ollie Johnson Dave Bing led Spin Gun, 69 a Euro 54. During his senior year, Thompson led Carroll to a 24 a Euro 0 record, preserving their 48 game winning streak along the way. Carroll capped off the undefeated 1960 season with a 57 a Euro 55 win over St. Catherine's Angels of Racine, Wisconsin in the Knights of Columbus National Championship Tournament with Thompson pacing the Lions with 15 points. Thompson finished the season as the top scorer in the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference, averaging 21 points per game. Playing career, after graduating from Archbishop Carroll, Thompson went to Providence College, where he played on the 1963 NIT championship team with Ray Flynn, and was part of the first Providence NCAA tournament team in 1964. He was an All-American in his senior year of 1964. Upon graduation, Thompson was the Friars' all-time leader in points, scoring average, and field goal percentage, and second in rebounds. Currently, Thompson is 11th on the all-time scoring list at PC. 4th in scoring average, 6th in field goal percentage, and 3rd in rebounds. He was drafted in the third round in 1964 and played two years in the National Basketball Association for the Boston Celtics in 1964 Euro 1966. At 6 feet 10 in and 270 pounds, he backed up Bill Russell, the Celtics' star center, en route to two championships. Nicknamed the caddy for his secondary role to Russell, he averaged 3.5 points and 3.5 rebounds in 74 games played. He retired in 1966 to begin a much more successful career in coaching. Before retiring as a player in 1966, Thompson was selected by the Chicago Bulls in that year's expansion draft. Coaching career equals Georgetown equals Thompson was the head coach at St. Anthony High School in Washington, D.C. From 1966 to 1972, racking up 122 a Euro 28 record. Next, Thompson was hired to become the head coach of the men's basketball team at Georgetown University, where he spent the remainder of his Hall of Fame career. Thompson, an imposing figure on the sidelines who towered over many opposing coaches, was often noted for the trademark white towel that he carried on his shoulder during the games. Inheriting a Georgetown team which had been 3 a Euro 23 the year before, Thompson quickly and dramatically improved the team, making the NCAA tournament within three seasons. Over the following 27 years, Thompson's Hoyers went 596 a Euro 239, running off a streak of 24 postseason appearances a Euro 20 in the NCAA tournament and four in the NIT a Euro including a 14-year streak of NCAA appearances from 1979 a Euro 1992 that saw three Final Four appearances in 1982, 1984 and 1985 winning a national championship in 1984 and narrowly missing a repeat the next year by losing to underdog Villanova. He won seven Coach of the Year awards, Big East, United States Basketball Writers Association and the Sporting News, National Association of Basketball Coaches and United Press International. Thompson coached many notable players, including Patrick Ewing, Sleepy Floyd, Alonzo Mourning, Dicker Mutombo and Allen Iverson. Under Thompson, 26 players were chosen in the NBA draft, eight in the first round including two players selected first overall, 
Ewing by the New York Knicks in 1985 and Iverson by the Philadelphia 76ers in 1996. Controversy John Thompson's career as head coach of Georgetown was not without controversy. Perhaps one of the most controversial incidents was the hanging of a sign in the Magdenhof Gymnasium. In 1975, after another perceived mediocre year, a sign was hung at the top of the rafters reading Thompson the nigger flop must go. The university quickly took down the sign and silenced talks for his termination. Confronting drug lord, in the late 1980s, Thompson got word that several of his players, including Alonzo Mourning, were associating with noted DC drug lord Rafael Edmund III, whose crew was connected to at least 40 homicides. At the height of his empire, Edmund became very friendly with several Hoyas players. When Thompson confirmed what was happening, he sent word through his sources to have Edmund meet him at his office at Macdonough Gymnasium. When Edmund arrived, Thompson was initially cordial, and informed Edmund that he needed to cease all contacts with his players post-haste, specifically John Turner and Mourning, both of whom had befriended Edmund. When Edmund tried to assure him that his players were not involved in anything illegal, the six ten inches Thompson stood up and pointed his index finger between Edmund's eyes. Thompson, known for his legendary volatility, quickly boiled over, and unleashed a profanity-laced tirade in which he told Edmund that he didn't care about his crew's violent reputation or propensity to commit murder. Edmund had crossed a line with Thompson's players, and Thompson was not going to allow Edmund to destroy the players' lives. By all accounts, Edmund never associated with another Hoyer's player on a personal level. It was believed that Thompson was the only person to stand up to Edmund without consequence, initially causing some shock and surprise that there was no reprisal. Equals 1988 Olympic team equals, Thompson, who had served as an assistant coach for the gold medal winning team in the 1976 Summer Olympics, coached the U.S. team at the 1988 Summer Olympics. Although favored to win the international tournament, the United States was narrowly defeated by the Soviet Union in the semi-finals 82 a Euro 76, marking the first time the United States did not reach the gold medal game. The team proceeded to win its final game against Australia to secure the bronze medal. Equals resignation equals, on January 8, 1999, Thompson announced his resignation as Georgetown's head coach, citing marriage problems. He was inducted into the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame on October 1, 1999. Thompson was replaced by longtime assistant Craig Eshrick, a popular player's coach. Eshrick was fired in 2004 and replaced by John Thompson III, the old coach's eldest son. At the time the elder Thompson was serving Georgetown in what Reverend Leo J. O'Donovan, university president, referred to as a coach emeritus position, assisting on academic, athletic and community projects. His younger son, Ronnie Thompson, formerly an assistant coach at Georgetown, was the head coach at Ball State. Commentator, after retiring from coaching, Thompson continued to be active in basketball as a commentator for both professional and collegiate games. He hosted The John Thompson Show, a sports talk show on ESPN 980 in Washington. D.C. Thompson is perhaps best known for beginning interviews with a statement, Let me ask you a question. Thompson signed a lifetime contract with Clear Channel Radio and Sports Talk 980 in February 2006. He continues to spend a lot of time around the Georgetown basketball program, including traveling to road games and participating in press conferences. He worked with former Washington Redskins tight end Rick Walker and producer Chuck Sapienza. Thompson left ESPN 980 in March 2012 to pursue other broadcasting opportunities. Head coaching record. See also, NCAA Men's Division 1 Final Four Appearances by Coaches. Notes. References.